Hello, this is part four in uh, my video series on working with a simple paint application. My name is Mr. Beck. This is designed for my eighth grade Android programming class. So here we go. Um, what we have right here is we have a basic program that uh, when you click and in parts one, two, and three, we set this up. This icon up here in the action bar and the color changes. Well, Let's modify that a little bit and let's make it so that every time we touch the screen, a new dot appears. Um, and we'll make it appear at the location where the user has touched the screen. Okay? So in our getter setter class now, well, let's let's take a look here. Inside a main activity, we're getting a couple pieces of information. We're getting an X coordinate and we're getting a Y coordinate on touch event. Every time the user touches the screen, we know what X and Y are. And if you're in my class, you've had a fair amount of uh, experience just working with that particular method. Well, um, you know, and this is not the only way to do this by any means, but in my getter setter class, this is where I've decided um, I'd like to keep all my static variables that I want the rest of the program to have access to. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say, let's create two of them, public, static, and this time it's a float because touch coordinates are uh, decimal values. And I'm going to say X, and I'll set it equal to 200, which is um, inside a panel here. You can see that we're drawing our circle at 200, 200 um, in the initial program. So I'm going to give X and Y a starting value that matches that, public, static, float, y equals 200f. All right. Um, so at this point, if I, if I went to the panel and I said, okay, every time we draw a circle, let's go ahead and draw it at, you know, getter setter.x and getter setter.y. Now, this is effectively not going to change the program right now because getter setter x and getter setter y at this point are always going to be 200 unless we change them somewhere else. So let's go to main activity where on touch event is happening. Instead of changing x and y here that exist um, as floats at the top of main activity, let's go ahead and let's uh, modify the getter setter instead. So I'm going to say, okay, every time the user touches the screen, I want getter setter x to equal the motion event x value. And I would like getter setter dot y to equal the touch value that uh, the user has sort of created for us here. So I'm going to click save and you know I'm going to go over to panel and make one more change here okay um, I'm going to I'm going to add a line here at the very top of, of on draw and I'm going to say okay every time this draw function is executed I would like to canvas dot draw color and in this case color black and you may have to get Control shift o to import the color class to get this, okay? And what that does is it, it clears the canvas, all right? Um, for each uh, loop or every time the draw method is executed. So it will cover the canvas with black and then it will draw the circle, okay? And if you... So I'll, I'll let you take a look at that. If you comment it out and you run the program, you will find you get an, an interesting result. It's not an ideal result, I think. So we're going to clear the canvas every time the screen refreshes, and we're going to draw a single dot down here. All right, so 
Uh, the canvas is drawing a circle to the value of getter, setter, x, getter, setter, y, and we're modifying that every time the user touches the screen. Um, I should see that work here by running the program. And here we are. So I'm now going to touch the screen and I get a new dot. Now, we have a, a problem here. I'll change the color and you'll see that the dot now chases the cursor. Now, we, we have a bit of a problem here and that's that, okay, if I click here, you can see the circle is below the, the click. Well, that's because we have this action bar up here and you can't always count on whether or not that action bar is showing. So this is where, you know, sort of programming for Android becomes difficult because there are lots of different devices and there are lots of different potential scenarios that the user may be faced with just in terms of interface layout, what the screen looks like, you know. We're not going to attempt to account for different device configurations, whether or not the action bar is here or not at this point, but we are going to make it work with this particular configuration, okay? So the Y position is off right now. So I'm gonna jump over to my, uh, my Eclipse and inside of main activity, every time we gather the Y coordinate, in this case, what works is I'm just going to subtract 100 from it. I'm going to say minus 100 F. All right. So the user touches the screen. We get the X coordinate. We get the Y coordinate. We subtract 100 from it. And then we load it into our getter setter class. And that'll basically move the circle up. Okay. So I'm going to save this and, and run it. And here we are. So now when I touch the screen, you can see the dot does appear where it, it's touching because in this particular case, I'm now accounting for that, um, that distance here that the action bar is sort of taking up. It's pushing our canvas down a little bit. Yeah, and if I change the color, of course, that still works. And we are in business. So um, in the next video, we will continue sort of working with this application and just adding in some new features. So thank you for watching.